Iran's government just announced they have made arrests after the suspected poisonings of schoolgirls. The country's deputy Inter interior minister announcing the first arrest today. At least 2,000 people have reported symptoms of being poisoned, according to the latest NBC News analysis of state and semi-official state media. NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley is following all of this for us. Matt, what more do we know about these arrests? Yeah, Kate, it's a good question, and the answer is almost nothing. You mentioned that this was coming from the Ministry of Interior. We heard from the Ministry of Interior saying that a number of people had been arrested in five provinces. Now, of course, that doesn't provide a lot of detail, but that's consistent with the Iranian line, the government line, ever since this first broke off back in late November, when now, as you've seen, thousands and thousands of schoolgirls have been affected by what looks like, especially to the Iranian government and a lot of outsiders, as deliberate poisoning, not some industrial accident or food poisoning or some mistake, but deliberate poisoning of thousands of schoolgirls. Now, this bizarre episode continues to get worse. We're still seeing girls brought to hospital today, and even though some psychologists have said and some doctors have said the vast majority of these girls don't appear to have anything physically wrong with them. They have described smelling things uh, in the air. But, you know, as we're hearing about these arrests from the Iranian officials, we're also hearing that Iranian officials are doing something that I mentioned yesterday when I was speaking to you about this same topic, that the Iranian government appears intent not just on finding those people who might have perpetrated this crime against these girls, but also in crushing dissent and those who are criticizing the government's response. And that's why we've heard, according to the Guardian newspaper that there were several dissidents, journalists, and even parents and teachers who were brought in for questioning by the Iranian authorities, wondering what they were doing, what they were up to in questioning the government's response. So from both ends, this government, the Ayatollah and the mullahs, essentially, are under extreme pressure both to answer to criticism and to suppress criticism and to find out who's poisoning these girls. Mm. Guys? Important context. Matt Bradley, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.